Now it's time to put the 6895 99.7 rule to use. How are we going to use it? How are we going to use this empirical rule? Well, here's an example that helps us you that, that we would need to use the 6895 99.7 rule with. Suppose it takes you 20 minutes on average to drive to school with a standard deviation of two minutes. I have been stalking you for the last three weeks of school and I found out that on average it takes you 20. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't been stalking you. That'd be kind of weird. Um, this is just something that was made up, came out of the book. So suppose it takes 20 minutes on average for you to get to school and when you take all those values, you find the standard deviation to be two minutes. So the next part says, and suppose that a normal model is appropriate for the distribution of drive times. It's important that we see this normal model. If, if our data is not normal, if the distribution of our data is not normal, then we don't want to use the 6895 99.7 rule. This is only true for normal models. So how often will you arrive at school in less than 22 minutes? Let's put it all together and take what we know about bell-shaped curves. This normal model is bell-shaped, which tells me that the mean is in the middle. And in the problem up here, the mean is 20 minutes. So I know in the middle, in the center here, I've got a mean of 20. And if I were to go one standard deviation above, remember the standard deviations, the, the first standard deviation above and below is about at the point of inflection. Here's the point of inflection, here's the point of inflection. But if the standard deviation is 2, then one standard deviation above the mean is 22, and one standard deviation below the mean is 18. Well, what does the question ask? How often will you arrive in at school in less than 22 minutes? So how am I going to use this empirical rule to figure out the less than 22 minutes? I want to know excuse me, how much of the data starts right here at 22 and goes to that side, less than 22 minutes. Well, the empirical rule tells us that about 68% of the data falls between the, falls between one standard deviation above and one standard deviation below the mean. So if this yellow part is 68% of all my data, or 68% of the data falls between these two values, then if I take 100, because all of the data would be 100%, so if I take 100% minus 68%, I get 32%. And if 68% is between these two dashed lines, one standard deviation above and below, that means that half of this 32% is in this tail, and the other half of the 32% is over here in this tail. <clears throat> so again, 68% is in the middle here, so 32% is in each of these, or is in the combination of these two tails. Well, what is half of 32? Half of 32 is 16. So just by doing a little bit of arithmetic, I know that 16% of my data is in this tail, and 16% of my data is in this tail. Let's go back to the question. How often will you arrive at school in less than 22 minutes? Well. The percentage of the data that starts right, that starts right here and is less than 22 minutes, that means going this direction, is going to be 100% minus this tail, which is 16%, and 100% minus 16 is going to give us 84%. So how would I answer part A? I would say, I will arrive at school in less than 22 minutes about 84% of the time. Okay, got that? How often will I arrive at school in less than 22 minutes? Well, about 84% of the time, 
I will arrive at school in less than 22 minutes because 84% of my data is below 22 minutes, which is my one standard deviation above the mean. All right, let's look a little bit closer here. Let me do some erasing. Let's get rid of some of this and look at part B. Part B now says, how often will it take you more than 24 minutes to get to school? Well, let's take a look at the 68, 99.7 rule again. <clears throat> get rid of this arrow. If I go two standard deviations above the mean, out to this spot, I am going to go from 20 up to 22 up to 24. So the question again, how often will it take you more than 24 minutes to get to school? So I want to know what percent of the data is in this tail right here. Because this tail represents more than 24 minutes. This tail represents more than 24 minutes. So how can I use the 68, 99.7 rule? Well, the rule tells me that from 18 to 22, that includes 68% of the data. So let me close that in. But it also tells me that if I go two standard deviations above and two standard deviations below the mean, that I am including 95% of the data. So everything that's in green right now, and after I shade this in, everything that's in green is 95% of all the data from there all the way to there. So 100 minus 95 is 5. There's that 5%, which means this 5% is split between this tail and this tail over here on the left. So I know that in this tail on the right is 2.5%. Again, just by doing a little bit of math, this tail is 2.5% of all my data, right there. So how do I figure out what percent of the time I'm going to, it's going to take me more than 24 minutes? Well, right there it is, 2.5%. So if I were to answer this question, I would say about 2.5% of the time, it will take me more than 24 minutes to drive to school. Or I could say, it will take me more than 24 minutes to drive to school about 2.5% of the time. That is how you can use the empirical rule.